What is the goal of this conference? What is the goal? The goal of our instruction is love. The overarching aim that Paul gives for sitting under sound teaching, for coming aside to a place like this and hearing men open the word of God to you, is that you would be compelled to greater and greater degrees of love to God and love to men. That is the aim of this conference because that is the aim of the whole Christian life. The whole Christian life can be summed up in love to God and love to men. I will also make you a light of the nations so that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. It's too small for Christ just to be glorified in one place. He's worthy of more. The more we find out about the Lord, the more we grow in our own relationship with the Lord and love for the Lord, we ought, our hearts ought to break when we see people just living for vanity. And when we know that there are places where nobody worships Christ. There's a longing in our hearts for far more. No matter what kind of experience we've had in mighty preaching, in, in glorious singing, in times of prayer, brethren, the truth is, we're not present with Him. And what we've had is just small tips of an iceberg that is so eternal and will take us out into the ages to come. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live but Christ lives in me knowing this that our old self our old man the person that I used to be in Adam has been crucified with him so that I no longer be, to be a slave of sin the body of sin has been rendered powerless he said loving the church because the Lord Jesus Christ loved it church, loves the church. The compromised, worldly, Protestant, evangelical mess of the professing church world is not to be equated with the true church of Jesus Christ. They're not the same thing. His church is a spiritual temple of living stones, a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation the apple of his eye, a people, the Bible says, of his own possession. Answer this honestly. Do I love the church as Christ does? Do I view the church as Christ does? Do I live for her as Paul did? If not, then we should not claim to be biblical Christians. Because the church is at the center and the heart of God's economy. The goal of the conference is this, and with this I close, wherever God sends you in the days and weeks to come, regardless of context and position, you will be found sacrificing your life on the altar of love to God and to men. That is the goal of our instruction, that is the goal of this conference, and that is the goal of the Christian life.